Happy Thursday, kindergarten friends. I am here to read a story with you today, and the story is called Such a Little Mouse by Alice Shirtle, illustrated by Stephanie Yu. And this story is all about a little mouse and his adventures through all the seasons of the year. I notice on the cover, the little mouse is standing under some yellow dandelions. What season do you think it is when the mouse is standing under yellow dandelions? Hmm, let's read and find out. Such a Little Mouse by Alice Shirtle, illustrated by Stephanie Yu. Way out in the wide world, there is a meadow. In the middle of the meadow, under a clump of dandelions, there is a hole. You see this little hole? And way down deep in the hole lives a mouse. Such a little mouse. With his smart gray coat and his ears pink as pearls. With three twitchery whiskers on each side of his nose. Every morning in spring, one two, three, he pops out of his hole. Such a little mouse, off he goes into the wide world. He sees a snail climbing up a fern. He watches the busy bees on the clover blossoms. Busy, busy, bzzz, says the bees. He hears a woodpecker, rat-a-tat-tat-tat, hammering a tree. The little mouse looks at himself in a puddle. Hello, self. When the day is done, he brings a little round seed home in his mouth. He pecks it away in his storeroom, way down deep in his hole. Look at his house. See him going in? Looks like this is his kitchen area. And this is his sleeping area. And this is his storeroom. Hmm. Every morning in summer, one, two, three, he pops out of his hole, such a little mouse, off he goes into the wide world. He watches the beavers working in the pond. He visits a toad who lives under a flower pot. It's dark in here, says the little mouse. That's the way I like it, says the toad. He sees a prickly porcupine. When the day is done, he brings a sprig of watercress home in his mouth. He packs it away in his storeroom, way down deep in his hole. Every morning in autumn, one, two, three, he pops out of his hole, such a little mouse, off he goes into the wide world. He tunnels under piles of leaves, Rustle, 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 go the leaves. He feels the autumn wind tickle his whiskers. Ooh, winter is coming, whispers the wind. He watches the geese flying overhead. Honk, honk, they cry. Winter is coming. He sees a line of tiny ants marching along. The little mouse puts his petal pink ear close to the ground. Winter is coming, says the tiny ant voices. When the day is done, he carries an acorn home in his mouth. He packs it away in his storeroom, way down deep in his hole. Looks like he has lots of things in his storeroom now. One morning, when the little mouse pops out of his hole, it is winter. The grass and the flowers and the weeds are gone. 
Snow covers the meadow and the trees. Brrr, says the little mouse. Back he goes down into his warm hole. He makes a loaf of acorn bread. He makes seed and watercress soup. He snuggles up under a little moss blanket with a book of mouse tales. That looks like his special reader's workshop space. Such a little mouse, all snug and warm, deep down in his hole until spring. I love that story. It shows all the different things we do in all the different seasons. And it looks like Little Mouse had his own little reading place, a special cozy place where he snuggles up with a book. And I hope today that you find a nice cozy place and snuggle up with a book or listen to one of our stories on the computer. Have a wonderful day, my friends.